All right, so we got the house and we have been working with an architect for a while now, um, working up the plans. And I wanna go over that with you guys today and kind of show you really the vision for this house. But before we do, I wanna just talk just really briefly about kind of our thought process on how we got to this final set of plans. So obviously, you know, I took you guys on the tour and you saw it was a really cute little bungalow house and we all love the charm of a bungalow. And our initial hopes were that we could really take that house and just bring it to life. A lot like we did that first house that we got um, years ago when Brett and I first got married. You know, maybe knock down some walls and, and add some paint and just kind of bring them to life. But unfortunately, once we kind of got into the process, we realized that this house was just really not in good shape. And, you know, things like rotten wood, just elements that really were not workable. So when it became apparent that we were gonna have to take the house pretty much down to the studs, we started to think, okay, well, if we're gonna basically take this thing, you know, down to the studs and start from scratch, what do we want to see out of a house? And that's when we really started getting excited and thinking about families and, you know, people that were like us that had children, you know, what are people like that looking for? The great thing about these neighborhoods with these older homes is that there's a lot of charm, but the downfall is oftentimes you move in with no kids, you have one, maybe two, and then you look around and you don't have any more space. And so for us, we will lose neighbors and, and friends in the neighborhood just due to the fact that they have literally outgrown their homes. So we wanted to use this opportunity to take this home full of charm on a great street in a great neighborhood and really in Fuse it with all of the elements that would allow a family, a family like ours, to be able to stay here for the long haul. So I'm going to show you what we got. All right, so let's start with a reminder of what we are starting with. This is the existing front elevation of the house. If you remember, it had the screened in front porch with the, um, the front door beyond that. And then it had this jut out area here, which was the study with the bookshelves. So the idea is that we're gonna keep the, um, the width of the house the same, but we're gonna go vertical with the house. So this here is our, our proposed new front elevation. So the screen porch is gonna be removed. The front porch will remain with the doors and flanking windows in the same uh, general area as they are now. This front jut out will also remain, but now instead of being a um, study, this is gonna be the dining room and it's gonna have awesome windows, not only on the front, but on the sides of this space. And then we're going up with the second floor, which is where most of the bedrooms are gonna be. And then we are gonna do a finished attic, which is gonna have two um, spaces also with a bathroom up here. So I'm gonna take you uh, inside and show you the inside of the floor plan. All right, so this is the first floor. So you can follow me here. Let me get my pen so I can have a smaller thing to show. All right, so you're gonna walk in here. This is the front door and this is gonna be a foyer space. You're gonna have the stairs directly to your left. So you're gonna go up the stairs here to get to the second floor. But before you do that, you're gonna come in the front door and if you go right, you're gonna enter into this dining space. So this is where the old uh, study was and you've got nice windows here on the sides and on the front of the house. Through the dining room, you're gonna go through a butler's pantry where we're gonna have a really nice window here with an under counter wine fridge. And this is just gonna be a great serving area for people to use as they come from the kitchen to the dining room when hosting events and parties and that type of thing. On through here is gonna be the kitchen. So the kitchen has got a nice size island. We've got windows flanking the hood here. And then we are gonna, we are doing cabinetry here that you will enter through to get to a hidden pantry. So this kitchen is gonna have a ton of really great storage. Um, beyond the kitchen is gonna be the living space. So you've got a fireplace, you've got great windows here along the back, and then you have a door to get to the back patio area. Through this space is gonna be the laundry and mud room, which we're really excited about because we feel like this is an area that most families can all agree is super important. So we've got a door right here, some of these little elements we've changed. So we've got a door right here. So as you come in the driveway, you will enter the house, the family will enter the house through this door. And we're gonna have a mud room set up here and then the washer, dryer, laundry area over here. Back out into the main living space, um, you're gonna enter into this little vestibule. And if you go straight, you're gonna enter into a bathroom, which we are using as the downstairs guest bath, as well as like a powder bath. And then if you come back to the vestibule, you'll come out this way and get into what we're calling either an office or the downstairs guest bedroom that has a nice closet here. 
Back out into here is a little hallway with a little coat closet, and then we're back to the foyer. So we're gonna go up the stairs here and we're gonna land on the second floor. So you get up into the second floor and right off the, the stairs is the first um, bedroom. So we're envisioning these being guest bedrooms or kids' bedrooms. We've got one here and we also have one here that is, has a shared Jack and Jill bath in between. As you go back down this hall, you get into the main um, suite of the house. So you walk through here you make a left and you're into the main bath, which has got a great um, tub, a good shower, nice long vanity space, big closet for him, and then a big closet for her. I made this the her because it's bigger. Another awesome element it has is a laundry chute. So if you guys have been following along with me for a while, you know that our house that we currently live in has a laundry chute. And after having now had one, I literally don't know how one survives without one. So we wanted to make sure we got one into this house. So this will be a laundry chute that will shoot right down into the laundry area. Area, um, on the first floor and I'll show you some more detailed plans of this space in just a minute so um, so this is her closet you come back out here and then um, this is the big master bedroom or main bedroom here all right so going back down the hall we go back up the stairs and then we get to the attic space or the third floor which is going to be built out with nine foot ceilings it's going to be a great space up here so you're going to have a lot of storage like a normal attic would have along the sides of the space. But what's so amazing about it is that we've got a great flex space here, got a bathroom, and then what we're actually calling bedroom um, five. It again could be an office, it could be a playroom, it could be another bedroom. I mean, really this, this top floor could be used for so many different things, but we figured it would be very useful to go ahead and build this area out. Um, all right, so that's kind of the gist of the floor plan. And now I wanna take you through a couple of specifics as it relates to uh, the laundry room and the kitchen. So let's start with the laundry room. So after we kind of got these plans uh, finalized from an architectural standpoint and got through permitting and all of that, we kind of had some thoughts about how to orient this room a little bit differently. So as I mentioned, when you come in the driveway, you will now enter into uh, or the family can enter into this laundry room, um, mud room through this door. So this will basically be their entry into the house. So you'll come in the door and you're gonna be walking right into the mud room space. We're gonna have lockers here with a great bench. You've got a great window. This cabinet is gonna be the laundry chute cabinet. So this will actually end up looking, and I guess I could take you, let me take you over here to my elevations. Um, this, this is that door. This is the laundry chute cabinet. That, Beside the door, it'll have flanking tall cabinets. This will be the laundry chute cabinet. So when you open it, it'll have a laundry basket where all of that incoming laundry can, can fall. On the other side, we'll have a matching tower, but he will be used for all the things we need in a laundry room. You know, all the cleaning supplies, um, mops and brooms, and even an ironing board could be stored within this cabinet. Beyond that, we've got um, the sink um, here, and you've got a nice window. We're thinking about doing some planking. Ignore some of the roughness of these drawings, but this is just really kind of just trying to convey our design intent here. We really want this space to feel really cozy and, um, you know, a space that can really be used. It's going to work hard, I think, in this house. So as you turn the corner here, will be your washer and dryer. We've got a top going across that, so you can do a lot of great folding. Here, we've got a little drawer coming from this side area um, on the window wall. So you would have a little access point here to, to put little things into this drawer. And then we've got a great hanging space here um, above the washer and dryer. So for all the, the hanging clothes, that can all go here with a nice shelf above. Um, across the way, when you walk in the door, you're gonna walk into the mudroom space and that's what's gonna be here. So you've got two lockers with a great bench, thinking you could put baskets under here, also under here, and then lots of spots here to hang coats and backpacks and purses and all that kind of good stuff. All right, and then let's go to the kitchen really quickly. So this is just a floor plan view, but our vibe here is that we will have a centered hood between two windows with great drawer banks on either side. Over here will be the refrigerator. And over here will be a cabinet that from the outside looks like the refrigerator because we're gonna panelize him. So these two will look exactly the same, but when you open this cabinet, you will actually have um, rollouts and adjustable shelves and some slots to put trays. Like this is gonna be a very functional cabinet. Um, 
here is the island. So our thought here is that we're gonna do a conversational island. You've got your sink here, your trash, your, your dishwasher, a drawer bank, and then we've got seats that are wrapping the side here. So that way, if a family was going to be eating dinner or doing homework and wanted to talk, it'd be a lot easier than lining them up off the back. Another element, we have the dining room, but we thought it was a little redundant to have a separate breakfast room. So nowadays I'm really into the idea of letting the island kind of serve as that breakfast room slash island space. And then we're going to have some great storage here along the back. And then over here is our hidden pantry area. So we're actually going to have usable cabinets on either side of that opening. And then you'll walk through what looks like cabinetry and get to some really great pantry space. Now, obviously, all of this is still uh, very much in the works, um, so we could be tweaking things as we go, but this is really just a good general idea of kind of our direction. So really excited about some of the elements that we're going to be integrating into that, but I'll show you more about that later. But I think from a big picture standpoint, you can see that this house is not only going to be super functional, um, but really a space that a family can spread out and make home for many years to come.